okay let me just say this um quickly here before i even dive into introducing myself when i was growing up like when i was still a kid i remember my mom always waking up at night praying when i mean praying praying fervently <laughs> okay so yeah is there any word i call her i even call her prayer warrior madam so but when i was a kid i didn't really understand or understood rather what all those prayers meant i remember that time even if before we go to bed for example provoke my mom and you know all these african parents for those of you that don't know my mom is not educated so like maybe she used some words some kind of words like see your big head witty witty you know this african mom insults now in fact if you grew up in a typical african mom's house you know what i'm saying um the first thing my mom would do every morning is to after the night scenario or everything that happened before we go to bed when she wake up in the morning the first thing she would do is she will come outside and like in the compound and she will start praying for us and be like oh i reverse any cause i must have caused you guys unknowingly or knowingly like she will just start reversing them she will be blessing us and she'll be prophesying and she'll be saying oh you go far you my children you get married to the husband that will love you like different prayers um i remember even when i was going to school um what she would always tell me is i don't have any charm to give you to take to school the only thing i have to give you is the word of god and my prayers don't always forget where you come from and don't always forget where you pray you know even before i started going to school sometimes i will be when i wake up in the middle of the night i'll be like why is my mom disturbing herself why does she always like praying 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 like this so until when i got to school and i saw that prayer line inside of me and then um i started studying the word of god and the the word of god was able to like open my eyes to, to so many things and from there and i understood why my mom have to be waking up and praying every night you guys get okay so what am i trying to say as ignorant as kids sometimes you're ignorant but when you are an adult it's time for you to now pick up from you being a kid and now adult and then start doing what you need to do because right now as a married woman that i am now even before i got married i love prayers i pray yeah i pray and i love love studying the word of god i came to realize that it is so sweet it is when i mean it is so sweet it's so sweet to know god if you experience the holy spirit if you experience god in all your daily activities like things will just go smoother for you even when people are complaining even when people say ah there is no way it's not working it's not doing this you just find out that things are very very easy for you i remember coming to potter court and not knowing anybody i don't even have a family here i don't even have a mom I, like when i mean i don't have any family here you understand but when i came to potter court the first night i came to potter court the person that housed me he said instead of going to the hotel let me just house you he took me straight to his mom and the mom loved me to the point that oh my god she was really the girl it was a muslim guy a muslim guy guys so and i can see it on daily basis of my life that even when my friends are complaining oh this lecturer is hard or oh this thing is not working out or oh i'm hungry like the way god's provide it for me i don't know like i don't know sometimes i will sit down with my girlfriend and i'll be like have you noticed that no matter how difficult it is we are eating we are surviving we are moving and every other stuff so yeah it is very good as a parent as it is very very good and i would advise you to start praying for your children in fact you can start now because even right now i've not given birth yet but i still pray for my unborn kids i still tell god what i want the kind of children i want and how my children are going to be unique how my children are not going to be stubborn how my children are going to make mark how my children are going to make waves where people say that there's no way how my children are going to surpass all of that and i always still tell god and it's very important that any sin that i've committed knowingly and unknowingly that will affect my generation because the bible said the sins of the father shall visit not only the third but the four generations so just imagine you committing a sin and your fourth generation is going i always tell god that god 
remove everything anyone i've committed nearly unknowingly please i am sorry forgive me my children shall not visit any of my my sins and i will not visit any of my father my mother the one they've done really or really is one of my portion and those was also the kind of prayers that my mom would always be praying and i remember that my mom would always be saying oh that no foundational cause to work against us no chain but basically is working in our life okay so start inculcating that into your life as a single mom as a single mod, um, mom yes as a single lady as well that is about soon to be married or you don't even have husband yet anything you just want in life just start prophesying it now and trust me everything is going to come out really nice for you in jesus name amen so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> so guys i'm done with cooking my vegetable soup so i'll just have to wait a little see when hobby is about to be back i think in 30 minutes or one hour time then i'll start making corn flour we're gonna be having corn flour so if you've watched to this point what are you waiting for i'm exhausted i just need to end this vlog here like this video drop me a comment <laughs> lastly do not forget to share for every other person to get this good news and yeah with no further ado i do i do like all of some of my videos i'm going to be simple and i'll see you guys in my next one so for now bye guys Jesus, I'm tired. so i hope what i said has been able to help anyone out there okay yes and if this is the first time you're coming across my content please do to subscribe like this video and lastly do not forget to share for every other person to get this good news i know that a whole lot of persons don't believe in prayers a whole lot of person like i always say this in my videos i don't know if you're following me on my um facebook page and please if you're not following me please do all to follow me i always say this because immediately i came across a lady's video that she was saying she don't believe in prayers that prayers doesn't work prayers like she literally she like when the lady was just talking about it i just look at her and i'll be like are you serious are you for real because i strongly believe in prayers i strongly believe in prayer prayers okay i believe and i know that prayer works anyway is i believe and i am not here to judge her i have never judged her because everybody know what they believed in and you can't blame them for believing in whatsoever they believe so yeah but for me prayer works for me and i believe it will definitely gonna work for you as well so whatsoever that you want go to do for you start calling them forth now even if it's your husband start calling your husband forth even if it's your children start calling your children forth because even the the word of the god blood made us understand that when you ask i'll give seek you find and knock the door will be open you understand so just start knocking to all of that blessings all of that things that you feel like oh you cannot achieve before the end of this year just start calling them forth okay and the bible also made us understand that he said write a vision make it plain place it on the table have a good to you that he that ready to run with the vision so you have to write down your vision and make sure that you're working towards that particular vision and definitely i believe god that it will, it will come to pass okay so this is me just sharing with you guys one of my wife series and in the beginning of this video you guys saw that i made vegetable soup okay and if you watched my abacha video before this particular one you noticed that i was wearing the same thing so those two videos were filmed the same day you know how we the youtubers do it we just have to look for way and use one stone to key two beds okay anyways i know that on this journey of youtube it has not been easy for so many persons and some persons are not yet making money on this youtube journey or on your social media live journey but i just advise you to just keep pushing and keep enjoying yourself i love you bye you will not do this thing baby stop now Anyway, guys, we're about to eat our vegetable soup and we have corn flour here, so that's what we're doing. Baby, say hi now. Hi, guys. Come with me. This is the best. I eat, let me see the taste. Yes, have, you, have you prayed? I've prayed before you opened your video. Um, Guys, let's pray together. Father, bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray for the next preparation. Jesus' name. Amen. What a prayer when the food is already on your hand. That is the soup. I have to hold it and pray. That is the soup. Delicious. And premium the feed for consumption. Join me. It's my, my soul. soul.